What's up guys, it's your boy CeeLo. And it's your boy Steph. Thank you guys for tuning in to episode 4 of our Got Souls Talk series. It's been 4 weeks, that's a month, of you guys tuning in each and every yeah. single Friday. Well, Sunday, things get to be mixed up. Sometimes we gotta switch it. All of these episodes will be up on Fridays as best as we can. So make sure you guys have your notifications on. It'll notify you every time we drop a video. Without further ado, it's been, huh? Yeah. I don't know about you, man, but... I look forward to this now, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, shit, okay, it's Thursday. Right. Yeah. Well, if you guys don't know, we filmed this on Thursdays. Yeah, on Thursday. <laughs> we filmed this on Thursdays right before the video drops, the yep. day of, or Friday, so we can get as much news mm -hmm. and things that happen in the culture oh, during the week so, so we can oh, talk shit. about it. Keep it raw. Something in my eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, don't cut. So, um. That was good. It's been a slow week, low key. Yeah, low key. Uh, low key. Stop my uh, low key counter right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been a slow week, but still a few exciting things we can talk about mm -hmm. that kind of just you know popped up out of nowhere. So you want to start with first topic? Now, if you watched episode three, you know we we did a complete rundown of the Supreme. The fall winter look book. Oh, items that we like. Yeah, that we like. That we like. You know, we double dabble in certain pieces. And um, week one is it was underway today. And um, oh yeah, today it was pretty hectic. It was pretty mm. hectic, man. The website was crashing. It froze on me like hell, maybe four or five times. I had to like open different tabs. It, it was just it was a complete headache, man. I feel like Supreme should have you know they should have put a little bit more strategy or put some extra force behind the shit, knowing that gonna be crazy yeah um week one is always tough um yeah, so you, tweet and that. Once, you, always, yeah, you always take L's on I always take L's week one and this is this is and this is the reason why i'm always like kind of late i'm always slow because i always forget no matter what season it is <laughs> i always forget these key rules to myself but i i keep forgetting yeah of course if you guys know week one like normally, like on the app or whatever, it's, you know, you, you just click new, new items and all of it will be right there. But oh, yeah, on the true. week one, uh -huh. it's the newsletter. Yes. And if you guys, you know, so you guys got to click on the top, uh, what was it, right, le top left where it's the Supreme, Supreme refresh and then all of it pops up. Bullshit. But, like I said, I forget and I immediately click that top where it said new. And I clicked, and I went straight to jackets. I'm like, damn, <laughs> go back, look for what I'm looking for. I click, I click shirts, and then I'm on the button ups. I'm like, dang, t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was kind of, you know, confused from the jump already, and I, and I forget this every single time. So I do this every <laughs> single time for the first drop of each season. But I hate you, process payment. <laughs> I hate you, y'all. I'm over here clicking for the Nas T. <laughs> I click the size, information, process payment, or the CAPTCHA, process payment, frozen. Bro, I don't know about you. Frozen. Did you get that like weird ass like alien uh, text? Oh, no, I don't know. Bro, I saw a lot of people tweeting that. Oh, oh, the, uh, the little white the thing? code, like the little Yeah, thing. I, got, I had what the code. The hell? I had that code. I don't know, man. That was, that was a little sus. That was a little sus, but uh, I was tripping. I'm over here like, am I getting the team? Or yeah, not? yeah, yeah. I'm like, cause I didn't want to go back and then you know lose my spot. Oh, I did. So, <laughs> I did. I'm like, whoa. Oh. Like, uh, click, click, click. Nothing's <laughs> happening. Back. Press the payment. Try again. Yeah, I did it multiple times. Yeah, man. Yeah. I opened a new tab. I tried a different card. I tried everything. Different address. Everything. Everything. And it, it was L, man. Yeah, L. L. Um. And like what what time it was like maybe like 10 15 something yeah, like that like 15 minutes later i'm just like uh so i texted him on my way like, uh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, ah. what the fuck man like they process paper wouldn't work the capture was chipping for me you, you said that you got through like on capture huh yeah, I got through on capture. Yeah, um, it was just that when i clicked the the process payment so i did the capture and then it went back to the screen where you know the captures click so i'm like you know i gotta process the payment and it just stood there i see my little bar up top my, i'm on my phone this is on my phone i see a little bar and um it finished and nothing's moving i'm still clicking and um and nothing nothing i went back it was still in my cart i took it out try to do some other stuff try to get some other items and uh nothing got nothing yeah um so I got on Twitter and I saw people, you know, kind of having the same troubles. And 
process payment wasn't working and I'm getting the codes and this and that and that and but I got charged but I'm not getting confirmation and I'm like damn well, I, I, I kind of tapped that button a few times you know I want to see did I get charged so I log in I check my I check my account and I see the charge I'm just like um I didn't get no email I didn't get no confirmation yeah. email so I go to my email refresh <laughs> I'm like oh shit <laughs> and what 1002, 1102 over there in New York. Um, yeah. I see the confirmation. I'm just like, yo, I'm like, yo, check your, check your account, bro. Yeah, see what it they takes me. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Went to my email. Bam. I got the email confirmation. <laughs> Click. It said 1101. I'm like, bam, baby. I did get it. Yo. I'm over here exiting out and all that stuff. Yo. Ooh, yo so, yo. um. What'd you call? Well, that's, our, that's the story. Well, I was able to scoop up in a size medium the white Nas T, nasty Nas. So see. I was able to scoop that one up. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. When you sent me that, I was just like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. I was able through. to get two accessories. The two accessories I was I was gunning for, man. Mm -hmm. It's the Supreme or is the SOG collapsible mm -hmm. shovel. Super sick, man. I don't know what the hell I'm, if we're gonna use it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Um, and also that Supreme money bag. I can't wait to see that one. Man. Yeah, the money bag is gonna be dope, man. I love that size. money bag. I saw it had like a key on it and shit. Yeah, oh, it, it had the lock. Yeah. Uh, watch. Make sure you guys watch the other one. It does have uh, two set of keys. Yo. And shout out to the homie in the comments. He did let us know. Uh, I was confused about the B, whatever, but it is like a hidden code. It said, before you die. Oh, yeah, for sure. So that was pretty, uh, 90, uh, 94, so 94. the year that Supreme, you know, started up. So shout out to that homie for informing us. We don't know everything, yeah, but yeah, yeah. we like for you guys to let us know if we missed on anything or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. We help each other. That's what the culture is for. That's what it's about. Um, but if you guys don't know, when it comes to these items, they will be on brosgotsouls.bigcartel.com. That's basically our shop where we have vintage clothing, where we have Supreme, where we have sneakers. Um, pretty much anything that we think is dope you know will be <laughs> up on the site that we don't personally keep ourselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just to help you guys out, because there are a few of you guys who weren't able to pick up, like the shovel, you guys were hunting that down, the money bag, I know ballers want that, they weren't able to get it, um, the Nas T. Mm -hmm. We'll be up on brosgastos.bigcartel.com as well as some other Supreme items that we got on there. So check it out. Link down there. Yes, sir. Now, before we get into these these two topics, man, it's, 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 it's going to be a little lengthy. We, you know, it's a little lengthy. You know how we talk. But before we get into these topics, man, if you have any suggestions or what you want to see on our Got Souls Talks, right here. You see it right here. That's our Twitter, our Instagram. Hit us up, man. Link's in the description as well. Every week, every week. Uh, each week, Sir. we'll be posting that picture on Instagram. Uh, so make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. We're going to just let you guys know. Go crazy in the comments. Anything you feel like it needs to be said Whatever. during the, during the God Souls talk, you want to hear our opinions, mm -hmm. put it in the comments. We will be dropping that every single Wednesday so we can prepare ourselves for today, Thursday, so we can drop the video for you guys on Friday. So make sure you guys peep our Instagram, turn those notifications on as well, so we can so you can see all our pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and the stories, our Instagram stories. You don't yeah, it's basically, make sure you guys follow us on Twitter, bro. That is where we are most active. Mm -hmm. I, well, I mean, we reply to everything mm -hmm. on Instagram, but Twitter, retweets, replies, whatever the case may be, man, you guys already know. A lot of you guys already hit us up, man. Yeah. You already see the responses. So, yeah, cause I don't know you, but I prefer Twitter over Instagram. Just the interaction and just the, the live feed and the live. It's dope. It's dope well, to I mean, me, man. Yeah, you guys slide in the DMs, always reply. <laughs> uh, the comments as well. So, everything, bro. Just make sure you guys follow us on everything. Um, let's get those followers up. Hey, uh, if you guys are loyal, best believe y'all get a follow back. Hell, um, hell yeah. But uh, this is more of uh, your steez, so go ahead. Yeah, I said it real quick. That's a different sport, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, before we started the Guy Souls Talk series, we kind of touched on this topic a little bit. Uh, but now it's official. It's officially yeah. official, we can say. Mm -hmm. um, damn. August 23rd. Actually, 22nd. The Boston Celtics, the Cleveland Cavaliers, a blockbuster trade, man. Uh, Kyrie won it out, and it finally happened. But who do you think got the better deal? All right, so if you guys don't know, Cleveland 
in return got Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, what's his name, the center, anti zig zig whatever, <laughs> and Brooklyn Nets 2018, the first round pick. Mm -hmm. That's Kyrie, but then you got, on the other hand, that's some good pickups for Cleveland. So mm -hmm. who do you think won this trade? It's good for Cleveland, but mm, it's good for Kyrie, man. Nigga happy. Mm -hmm. I guess he won it out. He got out. Uh, I don't know personally, man. I don't really care. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as you know, ultimately, I'm still gonna see them play whatever, mm -hmm. whatever team they're on. But what's interesting will be, and I love interesting. I love like crazy things that go on in sports, brawls, battles. The f the opening season, the opening game yeah, basically yeah. is gonna be Cleveland and Boston. So both of them are gonna be colliding. And I think it's at Cleveland, so you know that response yeah. is gonna be. Ew, they're gonna yeah. be coming at his neck, bro. Yes, yes, yes. But I think I think it's cool, man. Um, a different switch up, a uh, different switch up uh, on um, in the basketball world. Uh, I think it's cool um, when it comes to seeing Isaiah Thomas on, in Cleveland. It's funny because of what happened, you know, uh, in the finals or the uh, the playoffs. Uh, that one picture of uh, Isaiah Thomas reaching, <laughs> trying to get uh, LeBron. Now they're on the same team, yeah, straight up. Uh, I saw a tweet where it said, um, uh, now I'm with Cleveland, LeBron, take me with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, so I'm interested to see them play together. Uh, Kyrie, uh, I'm not too sure who is on Boston. Like I said, I'm not a big basketball person. I just like watching it. Um, definitely shout out to the Rockets. But... Um, I'm assuming that's his team now. Kyrie will ball. Mm -hmm. Kyrie mm -hmm. balls out. Now, do you, so do you is that his he, team? Does he have his? Is that his? Like yeah. you know? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. The main I, dude. I feel like he's proving himself. Um, yeah, like you like you mentioned, the people on the team. And I'm not gonna lie, they just they got some nice additions. They got the boy um, Gordon Hayward from the Jazz. Mm -hmm. little, little lefty, and he's nice. Um, the rookie, I think Jason Tatum. You know, nice prospect coming uh, towards the future. So. Honestly, it is Kyrie's team. He's proven himself. He stepped up in big moments. I'm excited, yo. And I'm he excited. got him a ring. But my thing is, I wonder if he chose the Celtics, mm -hmm. or was it just like um, Cleveland was like, damn, just all right, let's just make a deal and let's go. Oh, that goes back to okay. So what we we're talking about was he was supposed to go to. Oh, everybody wanted yeah, yeah, him to yeah. go to the Spurs. Spurs, right? But then mm -hmm. you said Spurs, and what we talked about Spurs and. Um, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Woo. That would have been a super team. That's what should have happened, man. That goes, that goes back to mm -hmm. how he wanted to be away from LeBron uh -huh. and prove himself mm -hmm. as a dominant player. Mm -hmm. I feel like going to Boston, that's his team. He, so, they, so you feel they, like there is this thing right there. So you feel like the Spurs would have been the same thing as Cleveland? Yeah, yeah we talked about mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah, definitely same thing as Cleveland. Um, still a power team, power team. Now he's by himself. Now he has to develop a power team with himself mm -hmm. he's, he's gonna be mm -hmm. the lebron in boston so i feel like that's gonna be dope man um and it's crazy because oh, now it's not man. like it's not like they're gonna see themselves in the finals they got a battle for that spot in the finals they, so i think that's gonna go. be interesting man it's gonna be interesting and boston killed it last uh um yeah that's yeah boston, last boston, season, yeah, boston so. was number one in the east last exactly. year exactly boston um, killed it and it makes it to the finals but they killed it uh isaiah thomas killed it uh for the for the last little run as well um it kind of sucks about you know his sister um mm -hmm. and it's crazy disrespectful for those boston fans man mm -hmm. i seen people burning his jersey are you crazy bro this man played the next day yeah played the next day That's to get you guys to the too. finals yeah man but you guys are burning the jerseys mm -hmm. is that like a thing now like ever since the LeBron whole lebron thing shit, yeah. you're gonna burn a jersey mm -hmm. kd you're gonna burn jerseys it's not even his like it's not like Isaiah Thomas wanted to get out. Well, I don't know, but y'all burning jerseys. Yeah, people, like, that was just part of a trade. You know, like it's business at the end of the it day. It's people are followers, man. That's all it is. Like, oh shit, all right. Well, uh, not the followers. Next it's, not, it's not followers, bro. It's people want to be. People want to have their little fame. Put it on Twitter mm -hmm. and do it themselves. You know, put it on Twitter. Buy Isaiah mm -hmm. Thomas. You know, tag yourself, uh, take a picture, put your little Twitter handle. Like, you guys want uh -huh. that attention but see, at this just to, you know what I mean? Because that, that's a thing that happens. At this point. That sucks. If it, anything, it, do Kyrie's like, jersey. It's, like it's like a broken it record, is. bro. It's like, it's so cheese. Like, yeah, there's nothing that's 
okay, you burn a jersey, you stupid. You spend probably over a hundred dollars for that jersey, and you just gonna burn it, mm-hmm. dumbass. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So touching on that subject about you know the whole thing with the sister, man, uh, that's crazy to me because I understand it's business, and at the end of the day, they gotta do what's best for the organization. But that kind of, I ain't gonna lie, that kind of changed my stance on the whole like. Play, players leaving and doing what's best for them, that and that and that, because like this just goes to show, you could be the star player. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Thomas, before last year, nobody even you know, really knew who he was, but this man showed up, worked his ass off, took over the team, took them to the number one seed in the East. Le- LeBron has been number one in the East since the past how many years? So. To do all that work, to get to just get kicked booted. out, to get booted out, and you have no idea. Mm-hmm. Till the day of. Oh man, that, that's just I, I don't know what you can do because he because before like in the off season he was saying he expect big money from Boston. Mm-hmm. All the reasons I just named, and he deserved it. He deserved a max contract. He's looking for a max contract with Boston, telling Boston he wants to be with them. And like you said, the the game the day after his sister passed. He played and he balled out. Lost his tooth, everything. Bam. Yeah. Boot it out. Boot it out, man. So now I'm just in a position where, honestly, I love certain players. But, man, do what's best for you. Do what you got to do. And that, that's why I'm kind of eased up on Kyrie. Yeah, it sucks because Kyrie, I mean, I, I'm a Kyrie fan. And I'm a LeBron fan. And seeing them two together, it's, just, it's fire, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I kind of eased up on them because... Shit, I mean, if, if Cleveland obviously don't care, you know what I mean? And, and these whole organizations and these dudes with money and powerful people, it is what it is, man. Now nah, it's just, I'm on the player side for sure. Like, do what you got to do, man. Get that money, chase the bag. <laughs> Does that change your stance on uh, Katie? Honestly. Honestly, honestly. Uh, okay, yeah, I did yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was, I honestly. was on KD's side, low key, uh, yeah. when it comes to this whole, you know, got do what you got to do, man. But mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, honestly, man, because cool. the same thing goes for KD. They had buildings named after KD. Yeah. This man then did have so many organizations and helping young kids growing up. And, and, and still the, does, look, yeah, he, yeah, he still, still does the stuff. still does. Um, and the same thing happened here. Just Bur- like, uh, jersey. like Chris Paul. I get it. You know, people are passionate about the sports and passionate about yeah. the team. I mean, because, no offense, Oklahoma, but <laughs> was really in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, I, that's what they got to look forward to. Um, and kids love KD. Mm-hmm. But he had to do what's best for him. And... I ain't gonna lie, me, I didn't respect it at first either, but now just seeing how expendable these owners think they, that, like, the players are, and they just don't care, man, and at the end... They, yeah, bro, and, and it sucks. I, I don't want people now realizing that... I, I don't, I don't want to touch into that topic right now, but if you guys want to hear our stance on the whole NFL doing their... Oh, their their uh that the, bid bid thing so, um yeah, yeah, man. it kind of you know kind of you know if you guys know your history you guys already yeah, know yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to hear our thoughts on that leave a comment down below we'll, we can do a separate video we'll, we'll do that on the instagram or something right but um, if you watch the movie get out you you kind of have a you know what we're talking about if, if you know if you know history yeah, if you know yeah, history yeah, yeah. you guys already know what that is right there mm-hmm. but um what i want to talk about right now is the whole Okay, so basically Kyrie wanted to leave because I'm more of a like a story, put pieces together, more of a and then an analytics person, you know, team and team stats, all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not too okay. too good at that. So Kyrie wanted to leave <clears throat> Boston or uh, Cleveland. Cleveland because he, he didn't want to be under LeBron's wing. Mm-hmm. He wanted to do his own thing. Mm-hmm. All right, so with the news of LeBron saying he's going to dip. Because the Cleveland um, the yeah, main dude is owner. a yeah the owner is uh, or put a ton of money into Trump's campaign yeah, cool. like and LeBron is not you know a part of that you know he has his his own stand on all of that stuff so he's willing to dip. What was the whole point of Butler leaving? You know what I mean? Yeah, like Kyrie. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. if LeBron's gonna leave, if LeBron leaves. He, you know, well, he's not there anymore, and Kyrie yeah. dipped. Uh-huh, uh-huh, so uh-huh. yeah, so I, I guess I, I, I can't leave see. this shit out of luck, huh? I can't. I, I <laughs> ain't got again. nobody again. <laughs> but see, I can't see back to a couple years streak of yeah. Like, in that in that no case, winnings. I don't get. I understand LeBron at first how he was tripping about the whole Kyrie thing, 
But, at, you know, if you put it that way, man, like, if you were going to leave too, then you can't really put blame on Kyrie. But yeah. this is one thing I will say about Kyrie, though. I don't think LeBron's putting any of the blame on Kyrie. No, you know, he was making certain videos and shit, like, yeah. oh, he, he, you know, certain, like, subliminals and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, like, the whole Meek, Meek Mill, you know, songs and stuff like that. I, I think it's cheese, but in the end, he kind of did, like, a little tweet saying, you know, wish nothing but the best for you yeah. and, and stuff like that. But this is one thing I will say about Kyrie. Now, we talked about how, what? you know, he wants to, you know, put the team on his back and he wants to start his own legacy and this and that and that. Now, just a few years ago, <laughs> before LeBron got back into Cleveland, mm -hmm. he was he was the man. Mm -hmm. He was, the Cleveland was his squad. He mm -hmm. took over that whole LeBron thing. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Mm -hmm. um, I think they had a draft pick uh, lottery uh, the next year and... Um, at least for two years, uh, I don't think they won over 20 games. Yeah. So, I don't get it, man. See, the only thing with me is you learn a lot of stuff in time, you know what I mean? Uh, not everybody was the best years before. Like, not, You know, everybody has their own stepping stones, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Of course, these guys are in the NBA, so they're, they're going to be raw. Yeah. But, you know, you learn certain things. Uh, I'm pretty sure KD learned certain things in Golden State. To level his game up Well I mean We did see it yeah, We did yeah, see yeah, That yeah. level up In his game And that's literally One season So I would say You know He, he learned things Especially <laughs> playing with LeBron <clears throat> That level up His game So I feel like That's in the past Let's get it Alright Future Let's see what you can do What can, what? Let's see What can you prove mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited For the season Ooh, I was about to say man. I'm, I'm excited I just can't wait man I'm excited It's a lot of teams Making some moves And um <laughs> I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Honestly, like, football is cool, baseball is cool, all the sports are cool. I watch them, it's cool. But it's nothing like basketball for me, man. I, I, I can watch it all day, man. I love it. And this season is going to be crazy. But finals is going to be Cleveland and Golden State. No. <laughs> <laughs> in the end, uh, there's still no answer for Golden State. So, um, yeah, for sure. We know who's going to be the champion, sure. man. In the end, the Warba. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, let's get into uh, before we get into this topic, <laughs> I'm gonna pop up a secret topic right here, real quick. He doesn't know what it is, yeah. but I'm, uh, I'm gonna throw it out there. Uh, oh boy, hit me with the oh. <laughs> yo, but, uh, all right. you guys see it right here, Supreme. Uh -huh. Denim Air Force One Lows. What materials on the on the inside? The suck liner. Like fleece? Nah, well, I think it's like denim. Because all of this is made from the jacket. I'm from, I'm from the jeans itself. I'm from the jeans. Everything is made up from the jeans, the Supreme Louis Vuitton. Mm. So this is the Air Force One, mm -hmm. right? Uh, made from somebody, I have no idea who it is. But this right here is the dunk. Air Force One Low, okay. or the, the Dunk Low, mm -hmm. SB. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to see what sole to swap it on. The Jordan 1, Jordan. Air Force One, Force One. The NMD, NMD, the Air Max 1, like those. or the, uh, what is this, uh, the Dunk SB. Oh yeah, so it's the Dunk right there. Um, Go back to the Air Max 1. I like that. Uh -huh. Not that. I wouldn't do like the one you showed me, the Air Force bottom. I like that one. Air Force bottom and the Air Max one bottom. Mm -hmm. I think it's dope. I think those are dope, man. What do you think about the upper though? Uh, material, I mean, shit, it looks good as quality. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Just that, it's that. <laughs> it's a Vuitton, didn't it? Yeah. Um, I like it. The thing would be, I would just, it would be a piece that I would just let speak for itself. I wouldn't do like too much and trying to match too much. I'd probably just give me some simple jeans and nice shirt and just kind of let them speak for itself. Um, I don't think I rock it with shorts though. I think it'd just be jean vibe, chilling. Let them let them stand out. Let them speak. Uh -huh. um, I think it's a dope concept. Low key, the Supreme and Louis Vuitton sneakers were complete garbage. Um, I did not like the style. Yeah. Uh, it looked like a Samoa Reebok to me, uh, honestly. But this right here would have been dope. Supreme Louis Vuitton and Nike collaboration. Mm -hmm. A little something to piece together. A model that we all know and love. With a monogram that 
were super excited for, so I think that would have been dope. Um, but I want to see, you know, because this is the, I guess it's the first that we see of this. So I wonder how many more people start grabbing those bags because, you know, people have been ripping up these uh, designer bags and making them to li little lighter covers, um, you know, patchwork on jackets, like all kinds of stuff. Um, so I want to see what... Now you guys gonna really be tearing all of this Supreme Louis Vuitton items, money, yo? That's yeah. crazy. But they, no, they make their money so mm -hmm. much, man. Mm -hmm. Like these dudes who are. So are they like, selling the customs or? Huh? Uh, sell, or the, these, I think uh, it might be a giveaway. Mm -hmm. So like bag, the Air Force so the bags and stuff like that. They they just sell them resale. Yeah, yeah the, like the bags. Like uh, this dude I follow on Instagram, he rips up like Go Yard bags, mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton. He just rips them up, and he makes them into like these lighter covers, uh, light turret covers. Um, and he sells those at $100 a piece. $80 to $100 a piece. Oh, a lighter? Lighter. <laughs> lighter cover for about $80 to $100. Um, wow. Um, uh, that's a good um, investment. I, I guess the... Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, if you guys Damn, you know, yeah. use the lighters for multiple reasons, um, you know, hey, you got a designer doing one, it, man. Doing it, doing it style. Hey, but hey, <laughs> hey, if I had the money, I would have bought one. <laughs> I would have bought. Um, he made one that it was a red go yard print. Mm. It was red. It looks super dope. And the way he constructs it is dope. It's not like you know you just slide it in. Mm -hmm. it has a metal piece above it, metal piece under it. It's like a little rim, um, and then just that go yard print. You know, if you use a lighter for everyday use. That's like, that's yeah. like a wallet, you know what I mean? You what do, do what these dudes day. learn this stuff, man? Uh, like, <laughs> like these. This, this creativity, man. Arts and, creativity. Arts and crab is, is, is poo. <laughs> that, that is creativity, poo, man. man. Um, but all right, enough of that. Damn. Small little topic. Let's talk about Whew. Virgil. Virgil's a genius. Shout out mm. to uh, Kai. <laughs> mm. Or is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, the off white. Off white. Times. The 10 ah! sneaker collection, uh, Nike and Virgil, uh, the dude from Off White, the creator of Off White, had the opportunity to basically grab a ton of Nike models and make it his own, his own twist, his own style, his Off White style. Um, and a lot of these sneakers are pretty dope, and some of them are like, What is you doing? What are those? But I think it's pretty cool, man. We're gonna start off with number 10. Yes, it's gonna be the Nike Air Force One Low times Virgil and his last name. Um, um, I like the bottoms to it. I like the translucent sole. Uh, I like that red tag on it. I'm not too much of a fan of that translucent tab on the like the mm -hmm. uh, surrounding the the toe box and then the the I guess the lace locks. Uh, it looks like that's translucent too, or I don't know. Um, I'll pass for sure. Yeah, man, same. Um, it looks like one of those, like like the light version of an Air Force One. It doesn't mm -hmm. look like traditional Air Force One. Uh, it's not as bulky. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass too, man. A show. Um, ooh. We're gonna get into sexy, Mister. Uh, Oh, it's been 30 minutes. Uh, so we're going to try to wrap this up so it's not too long. Sure. We're going to try to condense it for another 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah. So, Mr. Travis Scott had these on his Instagram. It's going to be the Nike Air Prestos times Virgil. Um, <gasps> this shoe right here, in Dude. my opinion, is constructed completely, completely beautiful, dope. I love mm -hmm. the colors, the tan at the bottom, the black upper, but it's not that traditional Presto upper. Mm -hmm. um, it has like that like that raw edge feel on the toe box, um, that red little yeah, it's got uh, some seal on it. Yeah, distressing going on. and You get the, um, on the tongue, it's like that rippable, like you can see the uh, inside, uh, like those uh -huh. blazers. Um, no, it's not the blazers. I forget what model that is that had those on the tongue. It was like white, vintage Nike. That's vintage Nike right there. And the Nike is on the side of it. Ooh, that's fire, man. So, yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's, so it's like the inside of like the traditional Nike tongue is Yeah, well, on I, the I forget what model has that. <clears throat> if you guys know, leave it in the comments. Uh, it's not the blazer, but it's similar to a blazer. Mm -hmm. um, but it has that tongue. Yeah, for me, that was a, definitely in my top three, man. That shit is fire. Top three. Now, one thing, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I like how he does the, 
the, all the quotations. <laughs> well, uh, the quotations and mm-hmm. you know the air and how he labels the shoelaces and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I kind of wish he did a little bit more for us, like certain models because mm-hmm. I feel like in the end it kind of gets repetitive. And then like this um, this red like zip tie. Mm-hmm. The other day I was like um, trying to get my whole insurance and stuff, <laughs> and stuff ready. And um, and I saw like this fire thing. Well, the card was full. We still had episode three on the memory card, so you know yeah. that you know that episode was almost an hour. So. Yeah, 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 longest one yet. Uh, um, I don't know where the hell I was in the conversation, but uh, the other time. day, yeah, the other day I was looking at a fire extinguisher. Yeah. And I saw that same zip tie, mm-hmm. and like a little uh, some other colors that kind of reminded me of that. I was just like, mm. damn, like. If that's where the inspiration came from, like <laughs> a fire extinguisher, like that's crazy, man. Oh, uh, that, um, that's actually like um, uh, just the seal, basically. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. I think it's cool. I wonder what that tag says, though. Um, can you take it? Think, can you take it off? Or, like, we had to cut it off, or can you just like uh, ease that joint out? No, no. We're gonna have to find out and see when we get them, right? Yeah. Hey. Uh, hopefully. Ooh. Cross your fingers. Hit All that right. smash button. Uh, that, that smash. <laughs> that thumbs up button, and we'll get them. Um, the next one, we got the Air Max ninety seven. Uh, uh, keep going. <laughs> uh, the what? The thing I like about the. I mean, I look. I love the. I, I, nah, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I don't like the the style that the uh-huh. upper yeah. has. It reminds me of like one of these newer Air Maxes. The ultras and. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good, man. I love the bottom. I'm not too much of a fan of the upper. Yeah, I'm saying. I'll definitely pass them. Yeah, drugs. pass them. Pass them oh, out. Yeah. The Hyper Dunk mm. 2017. Make you react. It says foam. The shoelaces. That's what I'm saying. Like, it gets repetitive. Maybe it, it, it could have did different colors, different missiles, something. Um, yeah, I get it. These, these are I, I pass, get it. I, it's like a concept that you put on all of them. Next time he has a collaboration, he's going to try to do something mm-hmm. completely different. You really can't do. S- too much of a difference in one collection. Mm-hmm. It's a collection for a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I get it. Um, see, like, I want to see who, the who's is, the first person to the the open these. Why you know why like the the ones and the Presto and Vapor Max? Why are those different colors? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like why are those different colors? The ones, the Prestos, and you know what I'm saying? Black base and um, a little more, a little more spaz to them joints. I would say because those models are prominent. Presto is a prominent model. Um, Air Force Ones since '82. I mean the yeah, Chucks too, saying. but I mean it's it's not what's you know trending. Uh, trending, but I guess what it has the it's it's a uh, staple in it. Yeah, Air Force Ones are coming back. Um, I guess you could say trending. Yeah, these newer kids. Yeah, just, um, because I mean the Chucks is. The first basketball shoe, yeah, I guess you could say. Uh, it's a classic. Uh, literally a hundred years. Uh, people who... Pe- the people who were alive during the time that the Chucks came out aren't even alive now. That's crazy. Like, even if you were born that day that the Chucks came out. Yeah. You were not alive. If you uh, are, slim chance. 0.1%. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I doubt you guys are wearing Chucks. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I want to see. I want to see who's the first person to rock them. Uh, them hyper dunks though on court uh, in this new season if they you know end up getting them. Cause uh, KD was rocking the 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 ones, the ones and uh, I think LeBron was too. Um, you know, going to the games in the finals. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I went to the Bryson Tiller concert. Dude had on the off white ones and uh, he swapped one of the laces. He had the orange lace. It was fire. It was fire, man. I can't wait for them joys. Uh, the, the, the <clears throat> Converse, I think it's cool. Um, not sure what print that is on the side. Well, oh, actually, that's the Converse size. Well, I don't know what that is, but I see the Converse little logo right there. Um, Translucent Soul. Yeah, what is it was a vulcanized. Yeah. Mm, mm. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's big word. I don't know. What it is. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the 90. I think the 90s dope. I like the 90. Um, I definitely like that. Uh, normally you get that hard. Um. Nice. Like little patchwork in the back, yeah, that's but that's man. like it, it, it's, it's like it's suede. It's like yeah, it's like a soft material. Um, you still get that tongue, man. I love the swoosh is nice and big. I just love the color blocking. 
the materials, mm -hmm. the translucent sole, I love it. Um, overall, a dub is definitely in my top three as well. Ooh, top three? Mm -hmm. Top three. Mm -hmm. Mm, four. <laughs> yeah, top five. Top five. Yeah, top five. Top five. Yeah, because I completely forgot about these yeah. right here. You got the Vapor Max, mm. man. I think this is a dope, dope, dope model. I like how they put that tongue on there as well. It's like that blazer tongue instead of the regular Vapor Max tongue. Um, I was a fan of the Vapor Max since they were released, since they were just images, previews. I knew it was going to be that next big shoe. Um, from Nike in the market is gonna be you know a little competitor to the ultra boost uh, not as like comfort but definitely style uh, shoe that people have been rocking a lot of people have been rocking this shoe man um, Sean Weatherspoon from round two pretty much everybody in LA yeah, um, exactly uh, but, but switch it to New York yeah, as well Travis, Travis, is rocking well, too. Travis as well he did a campaign for Nike as well for this vapor max um, Joe LaPuma was rocking it in his uh, you know, sneaker shopping videos. Uh, it, this shoe has definitely came up in its in its rankings for That's sure. What I love, but I like this. <clears throat> what I love about this is that unlike the other models, the translucent sole, they went with the black sole, so you could rock these and you didn't have to worry about them turning yellow. It's a, it's pre predominantly all black, but they just stand out, man. Now the only thing I don't like about it is um, their price point. <clears throat> mm -hmm. These are supposed to be two fifty. And um, the regular, the retail is 190. It's already up there, but 250, man, that's a little steep. But definitely one of my favorites from the collection. Now the next one we got. Oh, you've been yeah, speaking about them. You've been Blazers. speaking about them. The Nike Blazer. Oh, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like the Blazer, man. The swoosh coming down on the midsole. Mm. I mean, I was a, a big of a fan of the Blazer. The only. I mean, call me a high beast, but the only blazers I like are the Supreme, um, the Supreme blazers, just because that you get a lot thicker material, because it's like that quilted material um, compared to the regular blazers. So I'm a fan of the the, the Supreme blazers, especially that red one. Um, but just overall, the blazer model, I'm not too much of a fan. Yeah, same. I like the suede on it. Um, that's yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, regular yeah, yeah. material the other ones yeah, have. That's pretty much it. Um, Ooh, these are sleepers. These are my sleepers, man. It's the Nike Zoom Vapor Fly. Yeah. I'm throwing these in my top five too. Mm -hmm. um, I got the foam on the, the foam quotation on the midsole. Mm -hmm. That translucent is dope, but it's like it's like a lightweight. Yeah, I feel like these are gonna be the sleeper in the pack, man. Yeah, and I don't know about you guys, but the model itself, I'm a fan of. Uh, there's a lot of different colorways that are. Um, on the internet right now uh check them out They're like translucent as dope uh i think one of the dude well, there was a, a marathon that oh. they had with this shoe right here as like a campaign oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. dude broke like a huge a huge record rock or wearing these like at what four out of the five people running in that race had these shoes on yeah um 20 so, something miles like some crazy something yeah like some, something dope uh i'm a fan of the i'm a fan of the model man yeah, when it comes to you know sure. to just the model itself, model itself. But I'm assuming this is gonna be uh, everybody's number yeah, one. Yeah, a lot of y'all's top. Um, and, um, definitely mine. Man. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's up there. It's, yeah, 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 it's my, it's my yeah. number one as well. Yeah, that's it, man. Any guesses? <laughs> yeah, I know, I <laughs> the Air Jordan One, inspired by that Chicago Fresh. colorway. I don't know. What can you say, man? I guess the Chicago colorway. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys have been keeping up on social media, even just your favorite uh, celebrities or sneaker news, Virgil has been customizing mm -hmm. the celebrities' pairs with their little with the quotes on the inside. Um, Ronnie Fogg just got his. Yeah. Um, Travis Scott, just a lot of people who are in his inner circle were able to receive this shoe right here with their own personalized message. We got ours too, huh? Oh, we didn't, oh, we, didn't, oh we went on the list. <laughs> you were saying? I'm gonna have to make my own, uh, low key. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that, um, that uh, KO, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that one and just uh, cut some, up, some stuff up, man. Um, now, the reason these are, yeah, man, these are at the top. Just the detailing, I feel like the 
the effort he put into these is just is like none other, man. The right, the little scenes right before you get on the toe box mm-hmm. are like cut open, and you got the um, the little side of the um, the top with the top lace lock. I mean, the, the lace loop, and it's like hanging, and it's got the eighty-five uh, in quoted in quotations on it. Mm-hmm. Just everything they did on these, man, was was super sick. And then like the the sock liner is a different material. It's like that kind of like the that and squishy good. foam, and it's, it's like the shoe is just like deconstructed, but just in a sick way, man. And definitely fire. Definitely uh, fire. I think I'm, I'm gonna just throw this out there. I think it's people's number ones, not only because the details. Yeah, the details are cool and all. But it's just because it's the Jordan 1 Chicago. Um, the concept is the same throughout the whole thing. You still got that tongue. You got the Nike on the side. Yeah, um, it's, the same, it's the same material as the other ones. Um, it, the concept of the collection is the same throughout. I think one of them also has... Which other one? Have, well, a lot of, the, of them have that orange one. Um, no, that one has a little green lace that has that orange thing right there as well. Uh, the stitching coming across of that so mm-hmm. I feel like the concept is you know the same throughout but just because it has more color mm-hmm. it's a Jordan 1 and I don't know about the other ones it's people's tops but man. you can switch the laces too they got the lime green they got the orange lace uh, but another thing is yeah, like sure. on the regular Come Chicago on ones stuff. is that leather on the toe box these kind of have like that it's like a mesh material and yeah man these, these are definitely sick uh, I'm glad they didn't the retail is a little bit higher than the regular retro ones. I think it's 190, um, but that's the standard J's now. So I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the cop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And honestly, oh, bro, you've seen flight club. What's, that, what's the you price? You've seen flight club prices? No. What's the price? Uh, what would you uh, say? 190. No, the uh, that's the retail. Yeah. To this? Yeah, 190. Okay. The regular retail for the ones is 160. Mm-hmm. Um, flight club 3,000. T. Say, um, ready to copy. <laughs> for sure, I see it. Yeah, I see it. For yeah. sure. It's a, it's a Jordan 1. You know, people want them. Um, but that's it. Virgil is giving us something different in the game. Kyrie has gone to Boston. Oh, yeah. uh, people are ripping up Supreme Louis Vuitton bags and denim jeans and all that. Um, and what was the first topic again? Uh, Supreme Week 1. Oh yeah. Books. Next week, Ooh, stay tuned. We're gonna get that wait, unboxing. Wait. Let us know if you guys want an unboxing. Uh, we're just gonna wrap this up, man. This video is probably long enough. Yeah, sure. um, we're gonna we're gonna do better to condense it to thirty minutes because I know a lot of you guys don't have the time to watch all of these episodes um, in their full entirety. So we're gonna try to shorten it to thirty minutes. We're gonna start getting a timer. Yeah, get a timer. Uh, how about that? We'll do a timer. Um, Make sure you guys... uh, how, about, how about 35? Because you know, sometimes it, you know it cuts and it's 30, and then we get back on, and it's already right, it cut off. And 35 minutes, 35, there you go. 35 what y'all minutes, think? What y'all think? yeah, 35 minutes. We're gonna try to condense it every single Friday. So make sure you guys continue to leave a comment, excuse me, down below. Give us your suggestions on what you guys want to hear our opinions on. But we're yeah, still gonna man, talk to you guys wanna, every single Friday, man. I don't know about you, I want to get on different topics too, man. I want to talk about music, I want to talk about stuff going on man and like the hurricane is coming and oh yes uh, just a lot of stuff man yeah so uh if you guys are watching this there might not be a video fr- sunday actually there will yeah, be there no will video be. on yeah. sunday um because as a matter of fact today friday a hurricane is coming to houston it's hitting uh we have no idea how bad it will be yeah. you know people are getting ready people are getting their water supplies ready um make sure you guys stay safe man get some gas fill your tanks up Make if sure it's guys, not too late. Yeah, yeah, if it's not too late. Because uh, people are running out right now. Um, people are uh, traveling, water leaving, too. water, uh, food, Ooh, had to bread. Pay some great price on water today. Um, <laughs> it's just, yeah. you know, so we have no idea how bad the storm's going to be. So mm-hmm. we don't know if we're going to be out of electricity, what the case may be, uh, what other things we got to do. So there will be no Friday, Sunday video. So make sure you guys come back on Wednesday or Friday of next week. We will be dropping a video for you guys. Uh, but as always, leave a comment down below. Check out our Instagram, um, Twitters, everything. That's all right, man. Hit us up. With that being said, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification button as well to notify you every time we drop a video. And we'll see you guys on the next one.